Hello, I'm James. I'm a nervous system tissue engineer. This is Becky. She's a mathematician and a computational modeler. And last summer, together, we established and launched the UCL Center for Nerve Engineering. So the idea of the center is to use engineering approaches to address the very serious healthcare challenges associated with nervous system damage, in particular, injury to the spinal cord and injury to peripheral nerves. Now, UCL is a great place for this because it's got such strengths in neuroscience and in healthcare engineering. So the center brings together scientists, engineers, clinicians from right across the university and from our partner hospitals, all to work together to try and address these very serious problems. So this, this slide really summarizes the scope of what we're trying to do with the center. So as James says, our remit is to try and bring together the physical sciences, engineering, and the life sciences to tackle the really important, clinically relevant nerve repair problems that are currently uh, in, pro in prominence. So we work very closely with clinicians from the UCL hospitals, and they inform the research that we do. But we also support very important fundamental scientific and engineering research. And here we summarize some of the disciplines that we're particularly working with. So that includes um, en engineering, such as tissue engineering, cell and drug gene therapies, but also areas that we're very familiar with in engineering, such as biomechanics, computational modeling, and medical imaging. So another really important aspect of what we do that we're very committed to is the training of our undergraduates, our PhD students, and our postdocs to give them the relevant tools to try and address these problems. So in the last year, we've set up seminar series, um, networking events, and clinically-led workshops to try and start addressing these areas. And if you'd like to find out more, there's a lot of information on our website. So we thought, you know, whilst there's a lot of different research going on across the whole centre, we thought we'd give you a, a quick example of one of the things that we're both involved in. Um, so we're going to talk about engineered neural tissue. This is UCL technology that allows us to create living replacement nervous tissue, um, nervous system tissue, for um, regenerative medicine. So effectively what we can do is take stem cells, take therapeutic cells, mix them with materials, and get them organized so that they can actually adopt a structure that mimics that of the nervous system, and we can then use that to repair the nervous system. Um, so if you have a look here, you can see in a, in a dish one of our engineered tissues after a couple of hours, and actually as I advance the size, you'll see that with time, you can see it changing shape. So this is a living tissue that we've built, maturing and adopting the right kind of um, attributes that we need for implantation. So this kind of technology is undergoing the final stages, actually, of preclinical development um, before we hope to take it forward for testing in patients with nervous system injury. And in the first instance, that will be peripheral nerve injury. Um, now, this work is, um, is conducted by a really multidisciplinary research team from right across UCL, um, working in close collaboration with both the commercial sector and um, clinical partners. And in recent years, I'm very pleased that this has really been accelerated um, using an integrated theoretical experimental approach, where actually we work very closely, um, the, the, the um, researchers in the lab work very closely with the, um, the modelers that Becky's going to talk about now. Thanks. So one of the projects that we're particularly developing at the moment is understanding how nerves regrow under an injury and understanding how we can try and engineer replacement tissues to promote that growth. And one of the really fundamental aspects of that is understanding both how blood vessels grow and also how the nerves respond to that. So we're doing a lot of research at the moment to try and understand both experimentally and using modeling how we can understand these processes and design devices to promote this regrowth for repair. So this slide kind of summarizes how we're trying to pull together computational work and experimental work to achieve this. And what's really important is that these two areas really iterate extensively so that one informs the other and vice versa. So what, what we do is that we do some, some very tailored experiments in the lab to try and understand particular parameters relevant to nerves and blood vessels. So they might be things like growth rates, for example. And what we do is that we input those into a computational framework which predicts how nerves and blood vessels grow, and that enables us to do virtual simulations. So that's far more efficient because we can basically perform a huge number of simulations on the computer that we couldn't really do in a classical experimental context. And that then informs a smaller number of, of very promising designs that we can test in the lab, therefore streamlining the process that James is trying to achieve. I think one of the most exciting things is that 
we're now seeing a generation of researchers emerge who, who can program and develop these computational models and then stick on a lab coat and go into the lab and conduct experiments and then come back and refine their models. It's, it's, it's a really interesting way of working and I think it's really quite productive. So if you'd like to find out more, please check out our website or feel free to follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.